the best one was a guy whose main profile picture um, was him leaning over a casket with his head buried on the deceased person's chest. Do it now, you know who you are, you feel it in your heart and you're burning with ambition. So I am in Albany right now, and this is the first time I've seen this since the COVID crisis. Instead of having everything in the room, they had it bagged up in the lobby. So they had bags of um, toiletries, a hair dryer, and coffee so that everything in the room is gone and you know what you're getting is clean. I kind of like it. with my hair and makeup done is because I'm going on a first date. I am excited. Um, I am excited to give my dating life a pulse again. Um, it's definitely kind of been on hold. Um, so last year around this time, I was sort of dating someone and um, I talked about it a little bit in a vlog. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll look it up and I'll post it here. But um, it... I didn't go into detail then and I won't go into a ton of detail now, but it ended up being um, a less than pleasant experience. Um, it was not good and it wasn't awful, but it was definitely just not ideal. So after that, I kind of needed a break. So then fall came around and I started house hunting and then the holidays were here. And then in January is when I was actively house hunting, found my house and moved in. So. That'll happen. Once I was moved into my house, um, I think like at the end of March, beginning of April, I decided to get back into the online dating world. But thinking at the time, because this is obviously right when the coronavirus hit and everyone was kind of stuck indoors and stuff. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to get to know people and you know everyone would be kind of bored and stuck at home and stuff. And I will say there were a lot more people online, but it was kind of, a bad timing because you can only chat so much before you get to the point of boredom or just you kind of have run out of things to talk about. And with everything closed, there was nowhere for people to meet. So it was kind of a slow process. Um, but let me tell you about some of the people I got matched up with. Let's see. I'm going to save the best for last. So let me kind of work backwards. There, um, most of them are pictures. Um, you know, some of the stuff people write on their profiles, it just kind of boggles your mind. But um, I had one guy who had a picture of him with his pet squirrel on his shoulder. And then another guy had a picture of himself with an IV in. 
and then the IV bag was taped way, way up high on the wall. And um, he wasn't in a hospital, so I think it was like he was at home and he, I don't know, took a picture of him with an IV and with it taped way up. Um, and then let's see, one guy had a picture of him without a shirt on, um, but he, <laughs> He looked like a Yeti because he had so much hair. Um, and big shocker, there's an episode of Friends where Monica shows a picture of a guy and they think he's wearing a sweater. And that's all I could think about when I saw his picture. Um, but the best one was a guy whose main profile picture um, was him leaning over a casket with his head buried on the deceased person's chest. And actually, I feel like I've already talked about this on my vlog. So you may have already heard this. So if so, I apologize. But if not, yeah, you couldn't even see the person whose profile it was because their head was like down in the casket. But you could full on see the deceased person, which is kind of disrespectful, but it was also really just weird and odd. So I say all that to say, um, when I got matched up with the guy I'm going out with today, he seemed normal. <laughs> it was kind of a nice, um, kind of a nice break, kind of a nice change and stuff. So, um, we are meeting up. We've been talking a little bit back and forth. And so we, we live about two hours away. So we are actually going to be meeting in the middle in a place called Winter Haven. Um, we are going to get some food and I'm looking forward to it. So just like I said, just to be able to get back in the dating world and the fact that, you know, he won't have his pet squirrel with him on the date. I mean, I love squirrels, but you know, whatever. So that is where I'm heading now. And I will give you guys an update when I get back. It was a really good date. I am excited. We had a fun time. We spent the majority of the date just laughing and joking around and getting to know each other. Um, we went to an Italian restaurant called Arabella's. We ended up sitting there for about two hours. Um, so it was definitely fun. We got, um, we had, we ordered a Caesar salad and they actually came and made it at the table from scratch. So that was kind of neat. And then for dessert, we got cannolis and they were amazing. So we have actually made plans to meet up again and I'm really looking forward to it after just, you know, a crazy year of being quarantined, coming off of moving into a new house and the stress of all that, it was a really nice little treat to have a fun time and just to be able to get out of the house and, um, you know, have fun. So I'm, I'm really excited. Now I will say that today would have been absolutely perfect if my original plans had stuck, which was for Tiff, Glenn, and Cora to visit me this week. They were supposed to leave today and get here tomorrow, but once again, we had to postpone it. Originally, when we planned this in January, we planned it for May. Well, then all this stuff with the corona happened. So we postponed it till this week. And it's just this whole week, um, this past week has just been kind of crazy. And um, corona had a little bit to do with it. But also, um, Glenn hurt both of his hands while at work. And so they were kind of bandaged up. And just with everything going on, we kind of realized that maybe it wasn't good timing. Once again, we waited until the last minute to decide because we were just so unsure what to do. So we went ahead um, last night and just pulled the trigger, decided it wasn't going to happen. But we have rescheduled it for August. So it's just a couple weeks away and they'll be down here. But I did realize that since my house is completely clean and um, just appropriate, it would be a good time to do an official tour of my entire house. I know the week I moved in, I kind of did a quick tour, but I don't know that I've ever actually walked through the entire house. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so when you walk in, I have a little foyer which I like having it um, if 
you're standing at the front door, you can't really see the rest of the house. And even though I don't get that many visitors, I like that it's kind of um, closed off. But right off the front door is my guest bathroom. So um, at all the walls, of course, were painted, which I've mentioned before, but um, they were all a beige color. So this is my guest bathroom and it gets lots of natural light because of the window, but when you're standing in the shower, you can actually perfectly see, you know, who's coming up to the door or in the driveway. So I hung this curtain for a little bit of privacy. So there's that. And then you go from there. This is my first guest room. Um, this is the only room with an extra bed. So this is where everyone, of course, sleeps. I like it. Um, this bedroom suit I got, I think for my 21st birthday and it was the one I used until a few years ago. I moved all my draft stuff from my old bathroom into this room. So this is my guest room. And then this is one of my favorite parts of the whole house. This is my antique wall. Um, almost everything on here is antiques that I've ever, that I've actually bought or been given. So that is this wall. And across from it is my hutch with all my holiday dishes in it. So I just, I love this hallway. You come into my living room then. So, First, I will actually show you the kitchen. This was one of the best upgrades I had. My kitchen at my old apartment was so small, so I was really excited to finally have a little bit of counter space and cabinets and all of that. I do wanna buy just a little table and put there. So this is my kitchen. I'm very happy with all the extra space I have compared to my last one. And of course, that's where we just were, so you can get in two places. This is where my washer and dryer are in here. So kind of a small little area, but gets the job done. And this is actually my garage. So right off the kitchen. And here we have my pantry. Lots and lots of storage, which I am very happy about. So this is another area that I have with mostly antiques. Again, either stuff I've been given or stuff that has been passed, um, given to me or stuff that I have bought at the antique stores. So from my kitchen, we'll go into my reading room. And I love this room because it is my friend's themed room all of the different stuff I have from the show are is in this room and I absolutely love it I call it my reading room because ta-da my bookshelf is in here so this is where I come in if it's raining out sit in here and have my coffee um, it's also kind of my office I eventually want to get a small desk and put there just so I can um, have a place to sit if I ever need to and do work, which I probably never will, but I still want a desk. So after this room, then we go into my living room. So that is this. And off my living room is my patio, which I spend most, most mornings in that yellow chair drinking my coffee. So this is my patio. And into my bedroom. Um, I originally wanted the bed right here when you walked in just for something different, but the space was too small for my nightstand as well. So this is my bedroom with my bed, of course. And into my bathroom. I love my shower, so much extra space. I love having just a shower in here as well. This is my closet. This is a linen closet, which is nice. 
and my toilet room, of course. So there's that. So yeah, this is pretty much the whole house. I am very happy with it. I, other than a kitchen table and eventually a desk for my reading room, I feel completely settled in and like everything is done. So I hope you enjoyed. All right, so this vlog was just kind of a bunch of random stuff, but I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna end it here and I will see you next time. Bye. Let me give a picture of Scotty Jared naked. Oh, oh. He's wearing a sweater. No.